Ngyan amge la gun kubo yami bom tabaga dad bom tabaga koko bom tabaga anti bom tabaga sisi. I am Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please uh, follow your sister. Welcome, welcome to episode two of Sip with Sims, where we talk about relatable topics, things happening us. Ooh, things happening to us in this life thing and us happening to life. And today's topic is a very, very controversial topic, guys. Dating someone that has a child with another person, whether you are a baby mother or a baby father, or you being the one with the child and having to date someone new while you're still navigating that um, parenting element, right? And guys, before we get into like the nitty gritties and getting deep into today's episode, firstly, I just want to say I am thankful from the bottom of my heart to all of you 90,000, 91,000 almost subscribers. I would like to also apologize for me on my behalf on focusing on all the negativity that I was um, facing you know, um, in terms of the cyberbullying. And I focused on the negativity and I forgot that I have so many people that love me. Thank you for everyone that reached out, texted me, sent me well wishes. And I do really apologize from the bottom of my heart for saying, I'm quitting, I'm done. Like those were the emotions that I was going through. I cannot take it back, but all I can do is just like try and like be better and be stronger, you know. And also, I'm not going to ask anyone to stop making videos about me. You guys need to make your coins in as much as I do talk about other people on my videos. I cannot not expect people not to talk about me. So please carry on talking about me. Do your best to break me. I will not break. Get a strong. So yeah, I just wanted to say that because I did not say it on my first episode. But as for it seems right, uh, uh, we are not going anywhere. We, we are moving. We are higher and higher. So apologies again. To 91, imagine disappointing 91,000 people because of one or two people. There is no way. And to those people that talk about me from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Anyway, let's get into the topic at the hand. Eric in which year? What are the struggles of dating? someone with a child now firstly obviously this is how it goes we start talking about my experience and then we take it to the socials and we read you guys's comments on how you are experiencing how you guys are experiencing the topic or how you've experienced the topic we are talking about so let's start with me so mean ne? i am married to my husband right my husband has two children from a previous relationship. Ne? Then I also have a son from a previous relationship. And then me and my husband have two children together. So that's five children. And you guys wonder why I say when you have time, don't use that time to have kids. Like I'm never letting this man put another stranger in my stomach. That's why I need to prevent a whiskey, a wine, a gin. Because I'm never going back to the labor ward as a patient again. So in the very beginning of our relationship, I don't want to lie. It was very, very difficult um, on both sides. You know, um, with my husband, he was struggling with obviously like, is this relationship going to last? Um, am I comfortable with letting my kids around you? And because he had older children, it was... Um, how are you guys going to interact with my kids, you know? But luckily for me, because my husband had dated before and we broke up, I had already been, like, really exposed and been around his children before. So when we got back together and we decided to get married, like, things were easier with me, I don't want to lie, with adapting to his children and his children adapting to me because I was a familiar um, face to them. But the problem was... Time management, you know, and making sure that I don't uh, have that favoritism element. Because let's not lie, guys. Dating someone with children when you have your own child, it seems like you're going to give more attention to your own child. And especially interacting with the kids when they're all together. Like just to be like, 
give things equally, be the equal person. And to me, the hard element about um, having a blended family is that with my kids, I feel free when I discipline them. Like, it's easier for me to discipline because I'm like, you know that I'm your mother and I'm doing it out of love, you know. So with my stepkids, and in the beginning, in the beginning, it was a bit challenging because I was scared to like shout at them or scared to reprimand them or scared to send them because I was worried about how would they feel? Would they think that I'm like ill-treating them or mistreating them? And when they go back to their mom, how is the mom going to react? Because obviously kids talk. She's going to ask, how was your time with your stepmom? And then they're going to be like, ooh, she shouted at us. So I was always, always, always overthinking and always concerned about those elements. But as the years went on, guys, like I, I, I tell, when I die one, die all, that's the rule of the house. Like die one, die all. Uh, and because these kids, they are very sneaky. You know, these little human beings that you bring to life, they are very sneaky. Like they do things. And then if that thing happened when you were not there, they don't know who did it. So me die one, die all. So that's how I navigated. And I mean, the, another um, difficult element of my um, parenting journey was the father of my son. Like he had a very difficult time of letting another person be a stepfather to his child because I don't want to lie, guys. You know, I dislike my baby daddy. I spit on the ground that he walks on, you know. But as a parent... I cannot take anything away from him. He's been an amazing father. Like, that's why even my son till today, my son is 14 years old. And till today, my son lives with his father because they've been like, for 14 years, uh, parenting, we've never had issues. So as my son is a boy child, Nami, I also like, I'm glad that they have that relationship. So it was very hard for him to like, let go a bit of his son you know because when my son like comes over obviously my husband is going to play that role obviously so my baby daddy felt like no you are taking my child away from him so it was just that thing you know tug of war but yeah it's been easy guys like i don't want to lie like for the past maybe i can say three four years um we've been working well together as these kids have bonus parents, so these are, I feel like these are the luckiest kids on earth. So that is my story. That is my journey. And then now I want to go to some comments. Okay. Um, I put this also on my, I like putting these stories up on my WhatsApp. I like putting these stories up on my thingy, on my Instagram. But I only could put it up on my WhatsApp and my Facebook. So now, here is Anonymous. Ne? She's a girl. Um, Anonymous says that. Um, I am 22 years old. I am in a relationship with a 39-year-old man who has two children with his previous partner. Their firstborn is eight years old and their second born is one year old. They broke up about four years ago. Is it me or the mat is not? Ah, eh. You know that you met slit. They broke up four years ago, but the second child is one year Hurry, they are still eating each other. They're eating each other with a, with a fork and knife. When he's eating you with a spoon, but he's eating his baby mother with a fork and knife. And then, okay, let's continue. Sorry, let's continue reading the whole thing. And then, they are, second born is one year and a couple of months old. This past month, my boyfriend took the baby mama and children to Northwest to his rural home because he said he wanted his newborn. Newborn, give me. Ah, a one-year-old is not a newborn. A one-year-old can get a four-room in Shawela. A one-year-old is not a newborn. To take the newborn to see the homelands. They said it was going to be a two-day thing. What next thing? What happened next is that he decided to stay there for five days. His phone was off most of the time and he could only text me and not call me. They, they are doing it. They are doing it in Makaya. They did it in the kitchen. They did it everywhere. My sister, these people are seeing each other. My sister, these people are doing the Vinky Vongo and there's nothing you can do about it. You see, these are the hard parts. You know, guys, obviously if you have a child with someone, and then you are stuck together in the rural areas for five working days. There is no way. Guys, there is no way. Because obviously, you, their firstborn is eight years old. So it means this Han 
knows the family, knows the family people, Angiti. So it, she's familiar. She's in familiar territories. And Naibambiza, Mama ka boy, Mama ka boy, what's your NCT? Mama ka boy. So Zegala, let me tell you, when it was night time, these people were inside. Do you know a Aranda blanket in winter? Ah, plus you said last month was May. So these people were inside the Aranda together. And my sister, when he came back, of course he's sorry, but he ate Mukhoju. What can you save him in Soweto, my sister? What can you save him in Soweto besides Kota Lima Kwinya? This man is full. This man ate up. He ate down. He's like a beetroot. A beetroot you can eat on top and underneath. So this man ate a beetroot. So all you have to do is just be strong. Uh, don't ask too many questions because the only person that's going to be hurt is you. The only person that's going to be hurt in acrimony is you. But those two, they broke up four years ago and have a one-year-old. I will not be surprised if she's currently something meaty from the things that they did in Makaya. No, Abafana. Ah, there, here's another one. My baby daddy and I have a 10-year-old. We are both seeing other people, but best believe we know each other's private parts weekly. I knew it. I knew it. Guys, guys, if a man, if a man, if a man has a baby mother, <laughs> I just, you must know how to say Psalms 23 in all the languages of the Bible. If your man has a child with someone else, just pray that uh, I get a baby. But if you're, and the guys, baby mothers and baby fathers, it's either they really, really hate each other, they never want to see each other, or they have a very good co-parenting relationships. And the ones that I fear is the ones that have a very good co-parenting relationships because it starts with, and then next thing, next thing, and next thing, it's happening. Yeah! In the meantime, Sister Petina, mm, 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 mm. in KK, guys, even for me, guys, it took me a long time to detach from my baby father because why? You know that pot of heart, that pot that you cook up with, even if you buy new pots, even if you buy liquor sand, even if you buy the pots that are on um, those very expensive shops, but you still cook your pup in the heart because it's what? It's familiar. So I just kept just now and then. But when I detached, it was like he was dead to me. So guys, yo... If um, like I like my best advice to you is that if you're able to avoid teenage pregnancy, don't settle to be a step parent. Because some people are very good at disciplining themselves. But if you're able to avoid teenage pregnancy, why must you settle to be a step parent? I know the chances of finding someone without a child are very hard. But man, you will find someone without a child. Because imagine being a step parent before you were even a parent yourself. Some people know how to navigate it, but sometimes, guys, more chances than not, it comes with a lot of issues. It comes with a lot of drama. So I don't know how you guys, I, I, I cannot read any more stories because ah, ah, half of these um, texts that I'm getting, guys, it's people like just confirming the rumors. Others say, I completely hate my baby father. He has nothing to do with the child, obviously. So there's no problem with me dating someone new. Others say, for as long as my baby father is in my life, I will not let him date someone else. Why won't you let your baby father date someone else? It's because why? You still want to do the Vinky Vongo with him. You can't Vinky Vongo someone that doesn't want you. And because someone has a child with you, it doesn't give you authority over them. So guys, can we just talk more about this in the comment section down below? But as for me, all I'm saying is that if you have a child, you can date someone that has a child, but obviously it's going to be hard. But if you don't have a child, try your best to find someone that also doesn't have a child so you can have your first experiences together. No match has ever started with one nil or two nil. Some, by default, start and they work out. But, mm, I, I don't know, guys. Let's talk more in the comment section down below.